Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. In this video, I'll be answering a query that arose in the Photoshop and Lightroom users community on Google+. One member asked how to get this effect where a photograph appears within some text. So I went to tipsquirrel.com to find a tutorial on clipping masks, but there wasn't one, so I thought I'd put that right today. So here we go. Let's have a look at clipping masks. So here we are in Photoshop and I've got three layers. I've got this background layer, a sweet tooth layer, and I've got this image that I've got from the Photolia stock image website, which is of some jelly beans. Now the idea is I want these jelly beans to appear in sweet tooth, and it's very, very easy. If I hold down the Alt key, and move my cursor between the sweet tooth and the beans layers, you'll see I get this icon of a square with an arrow. If I click now, it clips the beans inside sweet tooth. Now it does that by only showing the above image on the pixels of the one below. So if I turn off this background image here, or layer, you'll see that the sweet tooth was completely empty bar where the letters appear. So that's where the beans appear. If I go and get my move tool, I can get these jelly beans and I can actually move them around inside the sweet tooth layer. Very helpful indeed. But there is more. Let me take off this sweet tooth and I'm going to press Alt and then click again to unclip it. And I'm going to go and get a shape. Now I've got this trophy kind of shape, so I'm going to hold down shift and draw it out and then use the space bar just to maneuver it into place. And there we have it. If I drag that below and then again Alt and click, you can see that we can now clip inside a shape. But again, that's because those are the only pixels that are present on this underlying layer. So that means if I unclip that again, take off this shape one, let's go and create a new layer and drag that underneath my jelly beans. And now I'm going to clip it now. So it disappears completely because there are no filled pixels at all. So if I get a paintbrush, and I've got a soft brush here, I can start painting them in. And again, it's only going to show them where there are filled pixels, or in this case, partially filled pixels. You can see that these are nicely feathered. If I turn on my background layer, you can see it a bit better. Okay, a couple more things with clipping masks. If I take my beans here and I unclip that to start with, and I'm going to turn off this painted on, drag that down right down to the bottom, and I'm going to turn on my sweet tooth again. Now if I click on sweet tooth and then click here and solid color, I can then create a solid color and I can clip that to sweet tooth. Easy as that. Now if I click on the black and white icon, I can create levels adjustment. Now it's not clipped as yet, but I've got this clipping icon here at the bottom of the levels palette. So if I click on that, it's now clipped to the color that's clipped to the sweet tooth layer. So I've created a little group and now I can work just on those. Very helpful indeed. So there we go. That's clipping masks. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Eric Renner. This was a video for tipsquirrel.com. Bye bye for now.